Hello travelers, welcome to Lorespire. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the cheesiest ways to deal with some early bosses. These strategies are great for solo runs, so be sure that you stick around and check them all out. The last one's definitely the cheesiest. All right, here's some nice dank boss cheese for you. You can see that we're fighting Minthara here, and we climbed up here, we broke the ladder, and we waited for her to get on the bridge. They can't reach us because of the broken ladder, and now that she's on the bridge, we can easily kill her, just like this. Boom! There's your cheese. And here we are in the Whispering Depths with the Phase Spider Matriarch. And you can actually easily one-shot her by going into turn-based mode right about there. Can be a difficult fight, especially if you let her eggs hatch, but if you do this, then there is no problem at all. Now, you want to watch that line there. It needs to be blue. All right, and then we're just going to fire off a Roaring Thunder arrow. And bam! There we go. One shot on the Phase Spider Matriarch. Easy way to solo her. How do you like that cheese? Okay, so here we have what is going to be the longest cheese, but also probably the cheesiest cheese. Okay, this comes to us courtesy of Big Mac, and not everything here is strictly what he said to do, but it's how I figured out to do it uh, once he had told me what he did. Anyways, uh, we're here fighting Bernard, or we're about to be. We just want to attack him, aggro him. And once that happens, we're going to descend. And we're going to come right over here. And we're going to drop this chest that we have. The moss covered chest basically you just need any chest with sturdy and about 50 hit points or whatever anyways should work fine uh now let's go ahead and drop it and we're going to move it to block this door once it's blocking the door we just need to hide ourselves so that uh, we can't be hit by everybody from the top and he bernard is going to pretty much just stay there because he can't get to us with that chest in the way, he has no chance of getting to us. And now these guys are all going to take pop shot, pot shots at us. And uh, some of them might be quite effective pot shots like that. But what we want to get them to do, we want to get to where they cannot hit us so that they will come down here into this room. And this will be much, much easier if we can do that. Okay, so right here is the best spot to hide for this that I found. We should have beelined it here a little more quickly. We would have saved some potions. But anyways, we want to get here, and then we want to wait. And they should start coming down to us. Okay, now we've got uh, three of them down here. Those three cannot attack us anymore. They should just stay right there, so we're going to finish this one off that still can attack us. And it's down. Now all we have to do is move around here. And we can take these three out while they're in there because they cannot get out because of this box. And I know what you're thinking, that's all well and good. But what about Bernard? Well, we're about to get to that. Okay, so once all of these guys are defeated, you want to wait for Bernard to get the stunned status. And you're just going to skip your turn until he does get it, which I believe he does have it now. Yes, he is stunned. So we're going to go ahead and... No, not looking it. I want to pick it up. And then we're going to come in here. We're going to ascend, not descend. And we're going to fire some shots at Bernard here. Now, he will be stunned for two turns. So we're going to fire some shots again. Unfortunately, we missed, but now we descend. Proceed back to here. And we're going to drop our chest again. And then we're just going to hang out and wait for him to be stunned. Once he gets the stun status again, we'll go back up. We'll get two more shots off on him. And then we'll come back down and drop the chest again so that he cannot get to us. Basically, you just need to rinse and repeat this until Bernard is dead. And he'll never attack you. You should never get hit once the adds have been dealt with. 
on the off chance that burner does come down here that's why we wanted a sturdy chest and we can just finish him off from here wait for him to go stunned so we don't get damaged by his electric aura there he is he's stunned now let's just finish him off and bam there we go we got it hope that you enjoyed that cheese let me know your favorite ways to cheese bosses in this game i'd love to hear about it down in the comments below this has been chris with lorespire be well my friends